Hi guys. Ooh, it's dark. Let me do that light thing again. Let me see. Ah, there we go. Okay, so one day last week I mentioned about some side pockets that Darcy showed in her video and I said there was an easier way. I'll show you what these look like and there just is an easier way and it just took me a minute to because um, measuring isn't my thing. It's this pocket right here. There is an easier way than, than what we were doing. So, um, you want papers that match. Uh, so this may be the hardest part. Is picking out some papers you like. And although I said they need to be double sided, I'm not sure they do. Uh, that one's pretty. That goes with that pink. Ooh, I really like those. Let's see if I got enough of those. You'll need four pieces of paper that match. I really like that polka dot. And blues, but I'm not sure. That's white on the back. It's okay if they're white on the back, I guess. Okay, so I got that. I got that. Now let me get rid of that pink. I'm sure that matches either. Um, that does. Okay, now I kind of like that one better. These are just pages that came out of um, uh, pieces of books that I only had a little tiny bit of. So I just pulled out the pages a while ago. And I work from these when I need a small piece of cardstock. This one isn't... Let me just see. I could go this, 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 and that. Those all match. So I'm going to look any further. I'll put these aside and um, I'm going to trim the top pieces off if there is a top piece. I'm going to trim it off. How is everybody this morning? It is pretty early. For me, it is 3.48. Got my husband off to work. His lunch is done. Hmm. I guess I'll cut that hole off. And one more. Okay. So, I'm trying to get it even in there. Okay. So, after you cut all of the tops off and you have regular sized pieces of paper, so we have four. I had four. Okay, so 
I want them to be all green. Like, so if there's anything on the back of these, I want this side. Okay. Here I got them. They don't all have to be the same length. Let me just make sure that if they have anything on them. Okay. So, two of these are going to go like so. You want to cut the back side. And then we're just going to make sure they're straight. We're going to put them all in here. Oh no, not the back one. You don't put the back one in. You leave that one straight. And then I'm going to cut them all at the diagonal. Kind of, I want them like mm, there. Okay. Okay. Except the back one. I'm not cutting the back one. So then, when you put these out, you will go like this, right? And then, your back will be solid. And then all we have to do is stagger them down by two inches, or an inch, but I think two inches would be better. See? And then, you have your thing when you get them how you want them. Like, mm, that one should go up like that. Okay, bring your cutter back. If you have to clip them, clip them. Do whatever you have to make them stay where you want them. I think that is wrong. That is right. Okay, so you have them how you want them. If you have to, clip them. You don't have to clip them. You just want to make sure they're all even before you cut them and exactly where you want them to be then you clip it flip it and then just cut along this right there we're going to go a little further down though but Keep them lined up. Over your clip because it's not going to work. Okay, just keep them lined up how you wanted them. I probably wouldn't even use my trimmer if it wasn't for you guys. Put them right there because that's where you want them, right? Line them up to your line. Make sure all of them are lined up to the line. Okay, they're all straight. And just cut them. No measuring involved. You can save those, use them someplace else. Here you go. Here's your staggered pockets. There was really no measuring involved. They're all going to fit. And wasn't that easier than trying to measure them? It really was. So then I'll put them in a journal so you can see what they look like. We're going to score. We're going to score them all at a half an inch. Okay. And I want you to know there is no disrespect to Darcy when I do this because her idea works great. Just for me, who doesn't measure anything, well, hardly anything, um, the measuring part got to me. I was, um, I don't like to measure. I like things easy.
and they might be a little too wide. We may have to go in and trim them to get them to fit in our book, but I don't think so. I think they're going to be a-okay. Maybe I should check that real quick. We'll just find a different page. <laughs> oh, no. Yep, I'm going to have to make them um, about a half an inch shorter. So a quarter inch shorter on each side. I'm glad I measured that. So then just do that. I'm going to do maybe a third, like uh, three eighths three eighths more on each side. Just it's not right. That's not right. Let me just do it on this side because uh, these scoreboards are off just a tiny bit. And don't worry about that extra. We're going to cut it off. people are saying it's so cold in Tulsa. It is not cold. It feels so good. I got my windows open. It is hard to get rid of that North Dakota mentality. Okay. That's my three. Those are scraps. Okay. So I've scored everything. Okay. So then I'm going to cut that extra off before I fold these. And then I'm going to show you a way that I learned from Kathy Order King on how to make these not so thick. And your cuts here do not have to be perfect because um, nobody's going to see this part. this together but um you know you're gonna I'm gonna ink it because you'll get to see the definition better if I ink it sorry more of your time I will fold them real quick might need to be re-inked. I like this pocket though. A lot. It's a nice pocket. I'm a little, so I'm going to do that too. Okay, so 
this layers like this, right? So when you put those layers down, it could get really bulky looking, like be real thick. So what you do is you start with this one, right? You lay it down and it's going to be the whole shebang. We're just going to trim a little bit off right there. You really don't even have to, but I did. So I got to get my bone folder and we're going to push these down as flat as we can get them. Okay. I'm going to take score tape on this one. Well, when you eventually get the tape off of the score tape, I don't know where my pokey tool is. We have to do this one too. Okay. Then we're going to lay this one down. I got to do the bottom. really got to re-ink that thing. So we'll line this up on the bottom like so. Now one thing you could do is you could wrap you could wrap your um, side pieces and that would also just take a tiny bit of the bulk out. No, I did not forget. I didn't. We're going to do that. So then the next piece is the next one that goes in is this one, right? So you're going to have to judge good how deep this is going to go, okay? I'm going to mark mine. I would mark it if I was you. So you know it's going to go that deep, right? So I'm going to mark this line right there. And then I'm going to scoot this over the best I can. And I'm going to mark this line right there. Those marks are where we're going to cut. And we're going to cut up to that mark on both sides, right? And then we're going to go just a little bit, just the tiniest bit at a diagonal. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Let me find my line. Where is my line? So for the shiny line, I think it's right there. Go a little bit of diagonal and then cut up right up your score line. We may have to adjust this a little bit. Okay, pull that off. Now, we're going to make sure this fits in here good, like we did everything right. We're going to cut a little bit more off right here. Just a slight diagonal. Just a little bit, not a lot. 
And then this is going to slide in here like this. This is why it would have been okay if you wanted to wrap your bottom layer, but you don't have to. See how that sits in there? Pretty cool, right? Kathy Order be the bomb. Kathy King. Okay, do that. But we're not using score tape this time. We're going to use glue. And we're going to find our bone folder. We're going to get these really flat. Guys, I'm so honest. I learned everything I practically, not everything, but I learned so much from uh, Kathy King. You know, I like this glue a little bit. I don't like that it constantly gets stopped up. But, we'll see. I don't like that the pin has already rusted, but I'm not saying nothing. Okay, so take one of your little and just go along there and even the glue out so that it's all over. I kind of got to get that in there right. Okay, so we got it in there right. I believe we do. And we're going to lay that down. And that is why we do the glue. Is so we can wiggle. We can wiggle that in place and make sure we have it where we want it. Okay, that's pretty perfect. Okay, so this one, we're going to cut even more off of. And we're going to say this one is going to go, hmm, is that right? We really want this to be right. We're going to judge on this side this time. I want it up a little bit more. So right about there. And I'm going to mark right there. And then this side, I can see I'm going to mark right mm, I'm going to have to push it. And when I push it, I'm using the bottom as my guide. Because you want to keep that even on the bottom. You know everything's even, so I'm going to use that as my guide. And I was real close, wasn't I? Right about there. Okay, so I'm going to cut on the inside of my seam, but inside of my, right along it, the score line but on the inside, always the inside. I gotta keep an eye over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right there so I know where I'm cutting to. This side too. Okay. So I can keep cutting up to there. And I want to make a small diagonal cut so it fits just like that small diagonal cut 
And I guess you could skip the double cut and just cut this once. That makes more sense. Okay. And so on this side, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do that on this side. I think it'll be just fine because I don't want to push my luck. Okay. A little bit of glue. Oops. Gotta do this. I didn't do this. I got a little extra sticking off over here. I don't want that there. I'm just gonna ink it. Ah! Don't lose. There you go. I'm gonna ink that real quick. And then I'm gonna erase my lines that I made. My cut lines. I need to see them. Okay, now I'm going to use my glue. And I'm going to come in here. Find something. Smooth my glue out. And hurry up and get this in. And then line it up good as you can and press it down. Now your pocket doesn't have that much book now. It's a pretty perfect pocket now. Okay. I don't like this glue. I'm just going to say that right out front. I'm not a fan of this glue. <laughs> um, so then I'm just going to bring my bone folder back and I'm going to smooth it out like so. And then I'm going to make my hinge for the bottom real quick. Doesn't matter what you use, just doesn't matter. I'm going to line this up. I'm going to go in about 16th of an inch. And then I'm going to cut. I'm a shiny line. I'm gonna cut there. And I'm gonna cut. Mm, about there. I'm going to get my bone folder again. And I'm going to score this. It doesn't really matter what way I score it. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to use my bone folder and get it super flat. I'm going to ink right down here. Okay. Then, I'm not using that glue again. I hate that glue. I'm not using it anymore. And this one, my pen has rusted too okay because I like this glue. Put glue on both sides of the same same half. Put glue on there. Put a good bit of glue. Okay then slide this into here Trying to center it like you want to center it. There you go. Fold it. Make sure it folds good. Then tap it down. 
and there you have your hinge for the bottom. There you go. And your tags can go all the way down with very little bulk. There you go. I think um, I think it's easier, uh, but I don't know. I like it. Then you just trim these off. And then it will sit real flat. Then you can decorate it and do whatever you're going to do with it. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you was the easier way to do this. I said I would, so I want to make sure I did. Put my rusty pin back in my cheap glue that I love. I love this glue. I love it. And this costs a dollar at Dollar Tree. And this costed 10 something on Amazon and I am not a fan. I am not a fan of it. And I was never a fan of uh, art glitter glue. And I'm gonna try something called lizard glue or gator glue. I gotta go back and see what it was called. Um, but I'm gonna try that next. But I think I'm always gonna return to this. I love this glue, I love it. This used to be my favorite glue. And I still love this glue, but I'm not paying $10 for it. Not when it used to be $3.99. But this for a dollar, man, I love this glue. And you water it down. I mean, you water it down a lot to get it to come out of this, and it still holds great. So, yep. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Uh, I'm going to work on my blue Christmas journal today and hope that my little golden books show up. I don't know. Maybe the post office is reading them. See you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.